Okay, so uh, we're, we're uh, back here in, uh, in this project. What we're going to be dealing with is uh, there was a, a big screen, um, um, fl fl flat screen t TV that, that was mounted to the wall here. Um, and as you can see, um, when, when it was removed, um, it uh, caused the, uh, the uh, screws, ca caused the drywall to, uh, to like lift up and it, and it, and it looks like a uh, volcano of the uh, surface there. So, um, so that's that one there. And then down here, um, we have a, a hole that, 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 that's where the uh, cables came through the wall. And if you go down south further, um, we have two more holes that are adjacent to uh, one another. And um, there's also a hole here and to your right, right over here. And on all four of these holes, this is what the uh, surface or texture of the drywall looks like there. Um, so we're going to have to definitely fit and fix that first. Um, and up, up here you can see the, uh, the impression that was in the wall from the uh, bracket that was mounted to the, uh, to the LCD T -T TV there. Um, so um, now we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at, at one more hole that, that we're going to fix here. Um, this was the uh, cable thing and, uh, and that has been re removed um, and they're actually going to move that. So, um, so my job is to uh, fill that hole there. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make up a, a mud pie um, and I'm going to use pla plaster of Paris and just regular all-purpose joint compound here. Um, and, and again, this stuff is great for projects like this because it sets in, uh, in less than 10 minutes and, uh, and it allows me to do multiple coats um, within like a half hour's time. So, so let's get started here. So I'm gonna grab my uh, hawk here and I'm gonna take some mud. Now again, the, the, this is just all purpose joint compound. It's not the uh, lightweight stuff. Turn this upside down here, and I'm gonna just carve out the uh, center here to uh, make a donut. I have some, some some more here, so I'm just gonna take it like that and build up the wall there. do is I just have re regular water here that I'm going to fill in the middle here. It's probably going to go up probably like a quarter of, 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 of an inch here because of all the uh, size of the mud pie. And then in here I have plaster of Paris here, uh, which is the hardener, and I'm going to add it to the uh, center of the pie here. And then with your finger, just work it out to the edges and try not to get it on the, on the uh, outer banks of the, uh, of the all-purpose mud. So we have it like that, and that's how we need more. So I'm going to move it out. teeny bit more here to that corner and that corner there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the uh, water is going to uh, slowly turn this white powder gray here. So we're, we're just going to give this a few minutes to uh, set up here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here now and start to uh, work on these holes here. Now, <coughs> When the uh, sheet when the, when the sheetrock is like like this, I like to like take use my snap away blade and kind of come into the surface there to like cut that out there because again that's loose or torn dry drywall. Um, 
So now, because you want to cut it down to a uh, sound tight surface, so that is going to take care of that there. Come, come over here and just cut around it there. And the uh, drywall is like loose here, so I'm just going to cut this back to where it's tight again and take care of that. Now, a, now what I do too is it's still kind of, there's still it's it's still kind of like humpy in this area. So I use the uh, back tip of this one inch blade right here and just kind of go in, and so there's no so the edge is now rounded. So I'm I'm pushing in and down. Okay, so when I go over it with the mud, I'm going over a totally flat concave surface as opposed to if it was con con convex then my blade would, would have come up and, and now we don't want that. So that's gonna take care of those two. Another alternative to thing to do is to take a ball peen hammer um, and just make an indenture there. Um, so you, 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 you could do that too, but there, but there is still like loose stuff here. Um, so if you just wanna like get rid of that, like that. And, that, and there's some more loose stuff here. So, and there's more here. So, I'm more a fan of, uh, of just cutting out that area first and then using this to round it off on uh, the inside. So that's gonna take care of that. Okay, I just wanna do, do uh, this one here. I'm just gonna cut it back like that. Tear that off and then use the uh, edge of this to do that one. Now here, the, the, this hole here, you, you can see how there's, it's like looser torn drywall. So I'm gonna use this snap away blade here. And I'm gonna come into the surface on like a four on a 45 and just do a swipe like light like that. Okay, now for this one here, I'm gonna come out and do like a, a left half circle. Now, when I did that, it uh, tore up to the right of the uh, crease, so I'm gonna have to bring this out even wider now. And. Work that. I'm just gonna shave this off here. Okay, so that one is uh is all set, and then you just use this to, to uh, go around the uh, perimeter of the hole. Now for uh, these here, there is some of this right here and right here. Um, so I'm just gonna use my blade here. knife just kind of cut those back okay so now what we're gonna be doing here is I'm just gonna use these things it's made by wall board it's a 4x4 four four patch here um, 